Welcome to Armageddon. Well, we're here at a place and its name is Armageddon. Armageddon comes from a, the, the place, the name of this place, Har Megiddo. Har Megiddo, Har Armageddon. Har is Mount and Megiddo is the name of this place. Well, what's interesting here is we can also see all the history like all the other places that we've shown you in, in our channel here. But also here, we also know what's going to happen. This place is located in the most fertile valley in the state of Israel, the Jezreel Valley. Man, look at this valley. Talk about a beautiful and fertile place in the middle of this land, huh? This place is beautiful. Look at how green and luscious. Wow. Jezreel Valley, most fertile valley in the country. And behind me is the mountains. Now this place has 26 layers of civilization here. More battles have been fought here than any other place in the world. Well, why is that? Well, first of all, Megiddo is located right on the Via Maris. And the Via Maris, as we've talked about before, is one of the most important trade routes back in those days. It connected three continents. From the south it came, from Africa, it went straight through here, and then up north it split into Asia and Europe. The main road right here, right close to where we're at here, Tel Megiddo, is, uh, is actually still on the very original path of the Via Maris. By the way, I came to this trip with Mama and Ola. Hello. Hi. It's so amazing. This place is beautiful. It's got so much history. And the sad part is the last part. Yeah. It's not history yet. <laughs> That's not history yet. Yeah, it's coming. It's to come. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just to think about all the people used to live in here and all the things happened here. So another reason why so many battles have been fought here and more than anywhere else in the world is this is the most strategical place back in the day of those times. No place in the world was more strategically placed than here. It was a city built for war. As a matter of fact, the, hit, the world's first recorded battle or war, and it was between the Egyptians and the Canaanites, was, done, was, was, was fought right here in, in the 15th century BC. Well, let's get back to what makes this place so strategical? Israel, if you look at the land of Israel, it's a land bridge. On the left, you have the huge Mediterranean Sea, and on the right, you have the, the enormous Arabian Desert. And to even narrow that down even further, after you've realized what's on the left and the right makes Israel a land bridge, on the way up north, coming from the south, you encounter the Carmel Mountains, which bottlenecks that down. Now, through the Carmel Mountains, right over here, there's only one path, because back in those days, they only took natural paths. They don't like today, where we cut out half of a mountain and make a road. So they found the natural pass, and there was only one. And right here, it narrowed down to about six feet wide, meaning no, no matter how large your army or your, or your trade rate or whatever it is, he was trying to move through here. At this point, it had to be bottlenecked down to basically one right after the other. By the time King David actually got here, there was already 15 civilizations before him. Then King Solomon came and actually fortified it even more. He used this city as a fort of protection. He had 450 chariots here and you can still see the stables where he had kept everything. It was the most fortified city in the land. You can see here also this great amazing water tunnel. King Ahab actually built this water tunnel to protect their water supply from attacking forces. Just in case you find yourself here in the big battle of Armageddon at the end of the tribulations, I'm going to give you a little scoop. It says right here on the sign, just in case you need to know, right here, no, no phone reception. So if you're here and you need to make a phone call, you won't be able to. Okay, we're going down into these steps. Supposed to be 180 steps down Way into this. down, down, down. Down into this amazing water system. So let's see how we go down in here. Wow, what an interest to this tunnel, huh? Oh, I'm telling you, and all of us. All of us taking pictures. What are you taking a picture of, all? A picture, a video. What are you taking a video of, all? The tunnel. 
This is the water system of the Armageddon. Amazing. Uh, this tunnel is something else. Now I can get my knees a break. Look at all of this. Well, this we're down in here in this tunnel. You can still see all the chisel marks and everything from when they made it. This thing is deep and it's cold. Keep the water cold in the summertime, huh? Yeah. And uh, yeah, this thing is big. All those changing batteries in the camera. Yeah. yeah this is a very video. complicated video, this Watch. video. Watch out, I'm gonna film you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll show you these chisel marks. These are the orig original chisel marks when they made these tunnels. Yeah, this is a big tunnel. Lots of water would go through here. Well, after all these years, thousands of years, they still got water down here in the water system. I got a few little pebbles here. Hopefully it'll make enough splash for you so you can see it. You can probably hear it. I don't think I want to drink it. Hey, we made it through the tunnel. Made it through the tunnels. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Oh my goodness. Oof, we're all out of breath. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was something else. It was. It's worth doing though. The city's gate entrance was on the northern side of this fort. The gates of this city are also to be said to, to have been the first gates, the first city gates in the land of Israel. Now, before the Israelites and the King Solomon lived here, the Canaanites were here. They lived here and they erected four towers on the city gate. Then King Solomon came and during his time, he erected a more sophisticated gated system with six towers and gates as he did in many other cities we've seen around Israel. For example, just recently, like the gates we did, we saw in Beersheba. This is those six tower gates that we was talking about that King Solomon had built. There would have been gated wooden gates in between each one of these columns set of columns in between each one would have been here let me show you this is the entrance we come in here there would have been a, some soldiers as well as here and so on and so forth six times with gates each way so you know they built it to make sure people wouldn't be able to come in and uh, these gates would have also been the entrance this would have been the entrance from the ch for the chariots Wow. In the dugout area where you can see of this uh, city was the sacred area for the Canaanites and believed to have been about 17 temples they had uh, built there during their time. Of course, as we know, to worship their false gods. Also, there's a round altar and burial chambers around where you can see they sacrificed their animals and even believed they even their own children. On the north and the south side of Megiddo, the ruins here, you can see there are two palaces, both dating back to the time of Solomon.
The large grain silo that you can see dated back to the time of King Jeroboam in the 8th century BC. It would have had a straw, a, a wooden straw a roof over top of it, and it had a capacity of 450 cubic meters. That is a lot. When you're looking at this place, you can see a big cutout of the side of the hill that was made in the 1900s by archaeologists to discover the 26 layers of civilizations that was here. We can't come to this place without talking about what's going to happen here in this place as we read in the Bible in the book of Revelations. At the end of the seven years tribulations, the book of Revelation speaks of a great monumental battle that will take place right here. In Revelation 16:1, it says, I'm going to read, and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. So right here where the vials of the wrath of God will be poured out, right here, it will be definitely a dramatic scene for the all. Whew, wow. Revelation 16 verses 14, 15, and 16 says, For they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world go gather them to battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed, blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon, which is here, Tel Megiddo, Har Megiddo, Armageddon. So the devil's going to gather all his forces right here to do that last battle against God. It's going to be right here. It's going to be a battle like something like the world's never seen before. But we also know the ending before it even starts. Amen. Huh? I'm blessed to show you these spectacular places here in the Holy Land. And until next week, join us on thegoldenreport.com. And God bless.